My name is Deniz Başkent and I'm a professor at the Kaino Department of EMCG and also a Rosalind Franklin Fellow. I do research on uh, hearing problems, aging and a little bit of effects of cognitive elements. So this is where I do most of my research. So the research I do is on mostly on hearing related topics. Uh, for example, I work in the clinic but, but my background is in engineering. So I work with people who have hearing problems. But I try to use my engineering background and approach trying to identify these problems. So what I really want to do is I try to understand what exactly, what kind of problems these people have exactly and really pinpoint those problems so that we can clearly identify them and maybe work with companies and manufacturers of uh, hearing devices, hearing aids, cochlear implants and develop some solutions for them. So I work in Groningen but I also live in the city centre of Groningen and I quite like that because I feel in the city centre I'm in the middle of this really interesting city life and I can also be here at work in a short time which I also like the lack of commute because I always lived in big cities before in Los Angeles, San Francisco and in Turkey it was in Ankara uh, at least six million people or more uh, that means that I like crowds but that also means that you spend a lot of time on the road for example and I don't have that here which I like very much uh, for working here um, I'm a professor now, I'm very pleased with that and I have a very nice group of people that I uh, lead but I also work within a very nice group of people uh, and I feel I get quite a lot of support for all the things that I want to do here. I feel this place really lets me flourish and grow up in ways that I want to uh, grow up and flourish. I started here in June 2009, so that was around three, three and a half, half years ago. Uh, so I guess I'm in the second half of my fellowship, but where it really made a difference for me was the first half, the first couple of years. It was really wonderful to have such an open grant where you, uh, which I could use for anything that I want to do. That's really, really nice support, especially if you come to a place uh, from somewhere else and then you don't have your network yet, you don't have your lab going smoothly, you don't have your people yet. So that initial support was amazingly useful. It was a really nice great first push that made me active right away. Uh, right now I still like being a Rosalind Franklin Fellow but it's not the grant per se that helps me but rather it's a network of people that I'm in because we are around I think 30 or 35 people together uh, in the university, um, a little bit less at, in the hospital but we know each other very well and that really helps. Uh, I feel like almost right after I moved here I made friends overnight because all of them are my friends, we help each other. Uh, either for personal or professional questions, there's al always someone I can go and talk to. So I think this is another way the fellowship really helps. So the initial push was very helpful, but right now I enjoy more being part of this network, I think. The application process is quite similar to any faculty position that you would apply anywhere in the world. So you have to have a very nice package, you have to have a good CV, good publications, if possible a good grant record, all those things count. But I think there is a second part of this application as well, which is that it's also important to find a matching group that you may fit in. Because uh, Rosalind Franklin Fellowships are uh, for people who want to eventually become a professor, and that means that it is very important that you fit within a research group really well. So I would actually recommend, if they have a chance to do so, they should go on internet, look at potential departments, potential groups, and maybe even contact them up front while they are submitting the application and find out how well they may fit within that group and they can also present themselves that way as well because if they fit within a group that increases their chances to be uh, offered this fellowship. So you have to be good anyway but it's also equally important that you should also fit within a group of uh, researchers because you cannot duplicate uh, what somebody else is doing. You have to be complementary but you can also not offer something that's completely irrelevant and doesn't fit any of the research lines here. 